Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, timeline mergers and navigators of the timeless waves of flowing light codes. Happy May Day, the first of May when we celebrate the light of Beltane. God is the still white magnetic light at the center of all things. The still center is everywhere. This is the eternal, unchanging stillness that permeates all beingness. The I Am Presence is the power of the silence and the stillness in a seeming motion. God simulates motion with its expansion and contraction of consciousness in the cosmic void of infinite space. The motion begins with the movement of thought, Thinking sound is the beginning of the space-time continuum. When sound reaches a certain frequency, it becomes light projections. Everything expands as a sphere and contracts as a square. Consciousness expands out non-physically, which is spatial, and returns to source linearly. The yin expands and the yang contracts. The water is a downward flow and the fire rises. This is the descension and ascension of all life. This rise and fall is the sine wave which creates a simulated separation. It is all an experiment and an experience of duality which creates 3D reality. The power of our I Am Presence and our conscious awareness is the guide of the energies that pulse through the universe. Our bodies are a fractal of the whole multiverse. As avatars of the light, we are the messengers and the witness to all the unfolding of all possible scenarios of life, and we play the role of the actors of the game of life on earth. It is our divine birthright to work directly with source energy to co-create the world we wish to live in. We have the infinite potential within to be the genies and the magi of the new earth. We must tap into the spiritual gifts within and shine our light out into this realm to lift the spirits of humanity for all to thrive in the story of Gaia, the codes of life. All things are perfectly resolved in the unborn mind of Buddha. We resolve all jinx programs, false inserts and attachments. We clear all implants and all humiliation programs. As peaceful warriors of the light, we stand tall with our hearts wide open, our spine straight, and with the courage of the lion, we face all fears and become empowered in the glory and the light of the dawn of the time of the eternal way. With the power of my almighty I Am Presence, I command the full strength and magnitude of our legions of light to assist us in this great awakening and ascension of all living beings of the Universal One. The time is at hand for the Kingdom of Heaven made manifest. We are very close. We keep moving forward. We keep going through and through and through until full compression breakthrough. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our Sacred New Earth Scribes. So be sure to stick around to the very end and please share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols right now. The moon is at 26 degrees, 9 minutes Taurus. The sun is at 11 degrees, 43 minutes Taurus. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 12 degrees Taurus. A young couple walk down Main Street, window shopping. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 27 degrees Taurus. An old Indian woman selling beads. From astrologyweekly.com And now my sacred condor pulls a card for you today from the oracle deck. Sacred Rebels from Alana Fairchild and Autumn Sky. And the card she picked for you today is card 3, Inspiration. An idea has captured your attention, or will do so very soon. It may be a grand vision or the vague sense of something that could be. You are being encouraged to accept the vision, the idea, or the inspiration as it is important to your creative and spiritual growth. Also, it is possible. 
The bee is bringing you healing medicine wisdom from nature to aid the message of the oracle of inspiration. The bee is a powerful spirit totem. Bees are able to fly with wings that are significantly small in proportion to their heavier bodies. They can do so because of the sheer speed with which their wings move. Your idea, even if it seems like a big, substantial plan that might be difficult to get off the ground and up and running, can succeed. You will attract great helpers to you and the earth will support the success of this project, idea, or vision, because it is about helping the greater good, as well as your own growth and development. When the earth mother lends you nature wisdom to support your healing and growth, you know you have an exceptionally powerful ally to your cause. Let this bring you confidence. Allow inspiration to fill you with enthusiasm, an expectation of magic and marvelous synchronicity as people, situations, and opportunities fall into place to help bring your inspiration into reality. This idea has the potential to flower into so much more than you realize. It has great potential. It can become something that feeds and nourishes others on their creative and personal healing paths too. It has the quality of a mission and is so much more than one singular idea. When an inspiration comes from the greater creative intelligence of the universe, even when it makes itself known as an idea coming through a human source, all that is needed to bring it into being will be available at the right time for the human channel of the idea. It is just a matter of being open, receptive, trusting, and enthusiastic about what has come through. Everything required for each step will be naturally attracted to support the success of the project according to divine timing. The healing process below will help you manifest the support needed for your inspiration to take flight. This oracle also comes with a message that you are a vehicle for inspiration. You are meant to think and do things differently. You are capable of receiving fresh ideas that are not so out there or different than they stop being practical, helpful, and wonderful. You are being asked to avoid the trap of doubting your ideas are special or interesting enough. Your inspiration comes direct from the universal creative source and you are being asked to believe and recognize the signature of great intelligence within your inspirational ideas and creative urges and to act accordingly. To sum up, this card indicates that sweet success, like abundant honey, is coming your way through your commitment to and development of an idea that you have already had or will soon receive. See it through to the end. Believe. Healing process, place your hands in prayer position at your heart or lay them in your lap with palms facing upwards in a gesture of receiving. Say aloud, may my inspired idea be blessed by the creative intelligence and love of this universe. May the perfection of divine timing govern the unfolding of this idea into its most beautiful and fulfilling form. May this idea attract the most nourishing people, situations, and opportunities so that it may live out its destiny to make a positive contribution to the world. Through sacred genius, love, and grace, so be it. When you are ready, sit quietly and say, I commit myself, body, heart, mind, and soul to that which will illuminate me with golden inspiration and uplift me and those around me with love. I am open to receive all the support and protection needed to truly honor this commitment. So be it. Rest for a moment to complete your healing process. If you notice imagery of bees, actual bees or people dressed like them, stranger things have happened. When you are out and about, know that this is the universe playfully confirming your healing through this oracle. And from Paramahansa Yogananda, Building the power of perseverance, practical steps, celebrate. If you have completed something, congratulate yourself to that victory and celebrate in some way. Treat yourself to something, then think about the next task to tackle. Again, keep at it until you've accomplished it. Try to make it a fun process, not a grim one. If it inspires you, do it for God. Lord, I am doing this for you, to get to you. Daily sadhana. Asana, the inner element you are trying to strengthen is earth. A good yoga posture to include in your daily sadhana would be the firm pose, 
Vajrasana, meditating on the thought that you are a rock, immovable, stable, firm. Affirm these qualities in yourself, repeating mentally, I am steadfast, determined, unshakably loyal to my decisions. Affirmation. After meditation, try this one by Swami Kriyananda. I will finish what I set my mind to do before leaving it for something else. My word is my bond, so also is my resolution. Banat, banat, banjai, doing, doing, one day done. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster. Heads up, we're moving through the eye of the Ankh. This is the time for the transmuters. Transmuters dive into the negativity in order to transmute it and release it into the light. Transmuters may be working on behalf of the collective consciousness and all humanity by transmuting past karma, big ancestor pieces as well. You may have chosen to be born into an ancestral line that has a lot of negative karma so that you can release, dissolve, heal, and help your entire ancestral line to vibrationally level up, which in turn helps all of humanity. Family pieces from Egypt, Mesopotamia. 1111 coming in. And from S. Kelly Harrell from Runic Book of Days. Where Astara is the time of light's arrival, Beltane is what grows from its warmth. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Ra James. Today we celebrate Beltane. We have shifted into a new month. Today is a day for the goddess. It's a time of the earth energies awakening and activating. It's also all about the fairies. You may have somewhat of an eclipse hangover. Make sure you're taking time to rest and to integrate today if you need it. These energies are still so powerful for manifesting over the next few days. It's a great time to be working with the energies. Thursday is the 5-5 portal. The 5-5 portal comes at us to assist us with moving through the major life changes that are coming at us right now. These energies are activating your destiny. Certain things have always been written in the stars for you. Certain encounters have been planned long before you were born. The 5-5 portal is powerful for twin flames and activating twin flame union. Your soul continues to do a dance throughout time with another. This is someone you will feel a deep soul connection with. These connections can never be broken, no matter how long apart. This is a time of love and union. This Taurus season is meant to bring a deep healing to matters of love and finances. May also brings us through some powerful galactic energies. Every year, from May 16th through the 24th, a Pleiadian portal opens. These energies merge with our sun. The portal will peak and be at its strongest May 20th through the 21st. That means the energies will continue to build until we come into and reach a full alignment with the Pleiades. It's important that you're staying focused on your intentions right now. Make sure you're working on your energy and on raising your vibrations. From Sparks of Divine Light Healing .com. And from Divine Sister of the Light Debbie Edwards. Beltane Blessings. Beltane is also referred to as May Day. Officially begins at moonrise on May Day Eve, April 30th, 2022 and extends into the evening of May 1st, 2022. Beltane marks the halfway point between the spring equinox and summer solstice. It is a halfway point of the ancient Celtic year and one of the eight Sabbaths of the Wheel of the Year. Historically, Beltane was widely observed throughout Ireland, Scotland, and the Isle of Man. In Irish, the name for the festival day is La Beltane. In Scottish Gaelic, it is translated to Latha Beltane. The word Beltane originates from the Celtic god Bel, meaning the bright one, and the Gaelic word Tain, meaning fire. Together, they make bright fire, or godly fire, and traditionally bonfires were lit to honor the sun and encourage the support of Bel and the sun's light to nurture the emerging future harvest and protect the community. Rituals were held to promote fertility to combine the passion of a bountiful bonfire and celebration of the union between the May Queen and the God of the Forest. Beltane celebrates unity between gods and goddesses, as well as soulful unions between divine counterparts and twin souls. 
hand fasting, a known Celtic or pagan ritual in which two are conjoined as one in an unofficial marriage ceremony, binding them to each other for a year and one day as a trial union, is often included in ceremony during Beltane. This is time to honor fertility, sexual union, birth, rebirth, and regeneration. Working with sacral and root chakra energies can help us maintain alignment during this energizing time. We can also incorporate moonstone crystals to harmonize these beautiful new moon energies, which also corresponds to fertility, motherhood, and pregnancy. This year's Beltane aligns with the new moon solar eclipse in Taurus, compounding the intensity of these receptive energies together. This is a very special time to welcome in new love and reunify with those whom we have already sworn ourselves to. This happens simultaneously as we welcome in the Sun, Moon, Uranus, and Taurus conjunction and Jupiter, Neptune, Venus, and Pisces conjunction. Love is in the air. From Metavisionaries.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Tanya Gabriel. Happy May 5, 2022 adds up to an exciting 11 universal month. One symbolizes a fresh start, original ideas, action, and new beginnings. Doubling up the one in master number 11 enhances divine inspiration, living in the present, and feeling that irresistible sense of double new beginnings. 11 ultimately invites your heart into every moment of your life, helping you find your own truth, release beliefs borrowed from others, and transmute the vision and indecision. From TanyaGabrielle.com And from Divine Sister of the Light Lily, Brunton. Beauteous Beltane blessings, beloveds. This Beltane day is when we as divine children of nature celebrate the Heros Gamos, the sacred marriage of the earth with the sky. Fecundity is fierce and the explosion of riot is blooming and blossoming throughout Maytime. Masculine and feminine energies are ascending to be at their most primal, lusty, and abundant, an energy that only accelerates towards the peak at the time of the summer solstice to come. The May or Rose Queen is married to her Oak King, also called the Green Man, and celebrated in ancient dances which revel in the sheer power of abundance, sexuality, and fertility. Such sacred symbology weaves through our lives on this day most unnoticed as a holy day by those who have forgotten the ancient ways of their ancestors. For those of us who remember, I wish you all a hearty and blessed Beltane. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Miriam Gillis, You are on the last mile home. Dear hearts, hold fast, hold strong, hold steady. Watch every thought, every word, and every action, for you are being tried, tested, and recorded. The path ahead will be narrow for a time to come. Each side of the symbolic pathway is slippery, and on both sides lie the extremes of duality. Do not slip. Walk the narrow, mid-path of Buddha, wherein lies the oneness of joy, equanimity, bliss, peace, love perfection. Here on this path you are whole, complete, and perfect. Tread the path well, without slipping, and all at once it shall widen into a sunlit meadow of your true home. Here you will no longer be subject to the extremes of life that brought you sorrow and disease. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Sangita Handa, May 1st Ascension Day of Sanctus Germanus, the Commander-in-Chief of the New Earth, Satya Yuga. On May 1, 1954, St. Germain received from Sanat Kumara, the regent lord of planet Gaia, and from Lord Buddha, the god of planet Gaia, the scepter of power, and from the last hierarchic, Jesus Christ, the crown of authority, to direct the consciousness of mankind for this 2,000-year period. St. Germain was crowned as director for the coming cycle of the seventh ray. Freedom, St. Germain and Justice, Lady Portia, are the yin and yang of the seventh ray of Aquarius, and together with mercy, they provide the foundation for all other attributes of God to be outpictured in the seventh dispensation. Sanctus Germanus is the Chohan of the seventh ray. 
The name Saint Germain comes from the Latin word Sanctus Germanus, meaning simply Holy Brother. He is the knight commander of the torch bearers and the keepers of the violet flame and of all the light bearers. Saint Germain delivers to the people of God the dispensation for the seventh age and the seventh ray, the philosopher's gold, the violent ray of freedom, justice, mercy, alchemy, and sacred ritual, a new life wave, a new civilization, a new energy. He is the hierarch of the new Aquarian age and the great sponsor of the freedom's flame. Born again is the resurrection of life and the ascension into the light. He must be spiritually born again, the divine way, without passing through the portal of physical death. With the human bio-shell of carbon matter transmogrifying into the crystalline new form without mortal death of the body, this is the great shift, and now the time has come. It is the resurrection of violet consciousness upon earth. Therefore the release of the new holy scripture, the amethyst tablet, the New Earth Bible, a holy encyclopedia, an altar table study book, the sacred violet book, to understand and employ the technology well so that the great shift can occur within and outside on a micro and macro level. St. Germain speaks to the 144,000 light being heroes on earth. The human race turns to you, my beloved sacred family. They turn to you not necessarily to lead the way, but most certainly to show the way. You walk with the people side by side, hand in hand, and live amongst the masses within the cemented star of darkness. I send my violet ring around you to fall like gentle rain, entering into the crown of your being, into your heart, and into the solar plexus of your body, that you may awaken all who even merely touch the hem of your garment. May your footprints release the light of the violet fire as you tread through the planet. May your aura sprinkle the love of God wherever you dwell. May the light you hold deluge the planet and humanity with such soothing power and a plethora of peace. And in that awakening, my beloved friends know, they turn to you. You are upon this planet as the strongest and the bravest of all. You are the light. You are the love of God, and never ever forget that. I am here with you. Call on me, your beloved brother, Saint Germain, from sangitahanda.net, and from Divine Sister of the Light of Sarah Adams. Energy Update by Archangel Mikael. Greetings, beloved ones. We are sending you blessings of love and light in this now moment, and we are inviting you to open your heart to our message for you. As you are moving through your experience, your reality is either filled with divine perfection or it is not. By divine perfection, we mean divine harmony, divine love, divine peace, divine well-being, divine abundance, divine beauty, divine creativity, and so forth. This experience is absolutely possible for you, dear one. You might have had glimpses of it and your ascension process includes the constant experience of it. You came here into this lifetime to bring divine perfection through you into this world and to experience your own ascension. When a person ascends, it has a profound effect on the planet. Can you imagine, if large numbers of human beings ascend, what kind of an impact that creates in your world? The raising of your vibrational frequencies and the full embodiment of your I Am presence is radiating outward and is being felt in the entire universe. That's how profound your ascension process is. Every day that you are accomplishing a thought, word, feeling, and action that is getting closer to divine perfection is a reason for celebration for us. Every time you align your thoughts, words, feelings, and actions with your divine I Am presence, your individualized aspect of God, you are getting closer to the reality of divine perfection. So how do you accomplish this alignment? Before you start your day, throughout the day and before going to sleep, say and visualize the following. Beloved I Am Presence, take command of my thoughts. Visualize a golden light entering your head. Beloved I Am Presence, take command of my word and how I'll say them. Visualize a golden light entering your throat. Beloved I Am Presence, take command of my feelings. 
Visualize a golden light entering your heart. Beloved I Am Presence, take command of my physical body. Visualize a golden light entering your entire body. I am the only commanding presence in my being and world. Visualize a golden light entering your entire being and the world. Wherever you feel that your thoughts, words, feelings, or your body get out of alignment with divine perfection, repeat this process. We invite you to do this for seven days and watch your life transform and your vibrational frequencies increase. After the seven days, you might want to continue with this as it will continue to assist you with your ascension process profoundly. Know that all is well, beloved ones. Welcome home. We are walking beside you every step of the way. Dear ones, you are loved beyond measure, always. I am Archangel Michael, and I bring you this truth. Thank you, Archangel Michael, channeled through Asara Adams from teloschannel.com. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Ramona Lappin. Lotus Activations. We are Diamond. The eclipse energies did not disappoint and knocked me out as I stayed in the field after the Diamond White Flame Ascension Activation. We are receiving pulsing energies from the crystalline core of the Earth and the Great Central Sun, Galactic Center and Source. This is the collective awakening from the quantum dream happening right now. Diamond white plasma rain falling on us in the whole planetary field, breaking off any remaining density, black goo, miasma, lower and negative hybrid coatings, reversals to align us with the new tri-wave current. Cosmic quantum tree of life activations continue and coming fully online. That is our 12 through 48 strand original template plus interdimensional quantum upgrades merging all of our multidimensional selves and stations of identity, realms, universes, and planes of existence within us as the cosmic soul. Fragmentation on all levels is being healed. Activating new organic neural network, emerald heart network, activations to fully quantum align all willing hearts and minds to the cosmic God source consciousness at one with the cosmic mind. Planetary brain reset. Expect miracles. One love activation. The beloved is everyone, everything and everywhere. The one self. Pure cosmic crystal in consciousness. And golden liquid light filling our every cell, atom, atomic particle and wave and all of the spaces in between. Right down to the mitochondrial DNA. Correcting and healing of mother-child DNA, RNA coatings and sequencing. Guardians of Nova Gaia ignite. Full merge with the cosmic mind and consciousness intelligence. The Godhead, heart, mind rewriting and re-encrypting all matter and antimatter. Running rainbow rounds throughout the grids and important grid points as well as our field. Becomes filled with rainbow current also called Kunda Ray, and our diamond sun plasma light body radiates all the corrected sound and light fields throughout ours and the planetary blueprint, stargates and grids, restoring harmony and balance throughout. We are surrounded by a diamond rainbow aurora plasma orb bubble as our travel vehicle and chariot of light. Full 12 through 15D Rishi embodiment coming online for the forerunners, with full reclamation of all 48 strands of Azurite DNA blueprint and original source codes complete. Clearing and full release of all remaining karmic burdens and load lifted. This one is huge and something I've been very focused upon as a representative and spokesperson for the Ra family of consciousness that is responsible for healing of the split and fragmentation in cosmic consciousness. That has happened way beyond our universe also. Karma is based in distorted, polarized, and fragmented mindset consciousness. When we fully merge with the oneness again, having healed the fragmentation and soul loss, we free ourselves of all karmic burdens. As at this stage of consciousness all is one, and the victim-victimizer archetypes and false programming is fully transcended. Threefold Founder Flame, Trinity, Christ, Grayaline, and Rosaline, Code Activations. A big message to anyone that may be struggling with the intensity of the shifts in consciousness unfolding is 
to be the happy fool, to know that fortune favors the brave and that to ascend we have to fully transcend all remaining fears of living and dying, understanding that this too is all part of the illusion, because our true nature is eternal and has never been born and never dies. It is everything and everywhere. We only learn through experiences. This is what all of this is about. 33. The important part is that we learn from them. Eternal love and blessings, Ramona. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Judith Kusel. There is something so beautiful, so profound unfolding now, as the white flame of purification has swept and is sweeping the earth, and now reunited with the golden Christ consciousness flame, thus the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine in perfect harmony, and thus as one. And thus the white flame now takes on a golden hue. The core is still blinding white or pearlescent white, if you will, and the outer rim is filled with pure gold. Thus we are now asked to fully claim our own divinity, our true soul selves, and to live this. Yes, it means the old you, the old life is disintegrating. What was before is no more, no matter how you try to cling on to it, or others try to cling on to you, it simply will not work anymore. This is the time when the mighty I am that I am presence will indeed work intensely with the I am within you and all sentient beings, which includes all of creation. The I am that I am lives in all and everything, visible and invisible, and thus in all dimensions and all forms, patterns, sacred geometry, sacred sounds, sacred numbers, sacred mathematics, physics, there is no thing under the great central suns which is not part and particle of the great I am that I am, thus the Divine Father, the Divine Mother, and the Holy Shekinah. It is the Holy Sophia who in her infinite wisdom knows this, lives this, and indeed becomes this. When we start to live this, we will recognize and work with the I am that I am and all living beings, because all is interconnected and are interconnected. This includes all species, all forms of life, expressions thereof, galaxies, planets, star systems, the great central suns, and thus divinity lives within all and everything and every one, and all which has ever been created and is in the process of creation and will be created, visible and invisible, worlds without end, omnipresent. I have had intense encounters in the last few weeks where I have witnessed this immense shift myself and indeed the interconnectedness which I experienced and witnessed and were part and particle of deeply touched my heart and soul and depth of my being. It is the return to oneness, to unity and harmony, where we literally embrace everything and everyone and all of creation as part and particle of ourselves, as much as we are embraced by the infinite one which lives and breathes and expresses itself through all of creation, visible and invisible, all realms, all dimensions, and all that is. There never was any separation. There never can be separation. There is only one. And through it all the power of love reveals itself through sound, through light, through vibrational frequencies. One. From JudithKusel.com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Venus and Pisces sextile Pluto retrograde in Capricorn. Tenderness becomes exquisitely intense. There is an opportunity to connect with what you value most, reach out and touch. Whether romantic or creative, there is an urge to give form to feelings. Creative expression brings inner harmony, especially if you find it difficult to translate complex feelings. Art or music can become a catalyst for change. To love and be loved is a transformative experience. Let down your barriers. They are an illusion. We are all one. Don't be afraid to live from the heart or to change what is undesirable. Love has the power to regenerate your soul. Hold space for yourself. Treasure your deepest feelings, your most private thoughts. Unconditional self-love has the power to banish shadows. Your heart is the gateway to the depths of your inner cosmos. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from 13 Moon Peace Time, Key 3.9 Number has no origin. It is self-existing. It is the self-generated order of the mind of God. 260 Keys to Synchronitron, a guide to the new mind for people of the future. 
the progressive revelation of a great, a transcendent, a luminous reality with the multitudinous relativities of this world that we see and those other worlds that we do not see as means and material, condition and field, this would seem then to be the meaning of the universe, since meeting and aim it has and is neither a purposeless illusion nor a fortuitous accident. Shri Aurobindo, the life divine, man in the universe. Where did the 441 come from and what human need did it respond to? The 441 matrix defines an imaginal domain, a configuration of frequencies representing a transcendent and luminous reality that must be participated in, in order to be activated. The need for the proof of a higher reality beyond our present mental horizons justified the revelation of the 441 synchronotron. The 441 matrix does not pertain to ordinary consciousness, so there is no point to try to compress or make it fit into the mundane. If you do not make the effort to impress the matrix as a memory code into your brain, then you are not exerting sufficiently. To go from conscious to superconscious, from mind to supermind, you must make an effort that may well bewilder your ordinary, pragmatic consciousness. Through this effort to experience 441 at its level, we are participating in the quantum shift, the transformation of consciousness necessary to go beyond the limitations of the dying world. When we fully grasp the 441 numbers and all of their interrelationships and multiple possibilities at their own dimensional level, beyond verbalization, then we have taken hold of the language or script by which the second creation is formulated, creation by telepathy. Intergalactic Bulletin Number 4, 441 Law of Time and the Descent of the Supermind, Noosphere. And today from the Zolkin Times, Keen 243, Blue Solar Night, the number 9 is called solar and its keywords are realizing intention and pulse. The ninth day of a wave spell is always intense as it is full of energy and very powerful. Fasten your seat belts for this number of intention means that whatever you want you can get if you can work with this powerful energy. We all try to use our intelligence but how often do we consider using our willpower? Surprise yourself today and wield your will and with intention you will get what you need. Today is blue night which represents dreams, abundance and intuition. It is a perfect day for dreams to come true because when you combine the meaning of the number with the day, the result is intention is abundance or dream realizing. My only advice is to be careful what you wish for. Today has great power to make things happen. Be sure to go after what is good for you, not what you want necessarily. The Blue Knight also teaches us to be grateful for what we already have and to celebrate the abundance in our lives. I use these days personally to thank the universe for all that I have. If you do not appreciate what you have, you will not attract more abundance in your life. The glass half empty attitude won't get you very far. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Blue Solar Night, 9 Akbal, Keen 243, the 1st of May 2022, Pulsing Abundance, New Moon in Taurus, Solar Eclipse, Southern Hemisphere. 1 5 2022 20, equal 1 5 6 equal 1 11 equal 1 2 equal 3 day codes 1 new beginnings original unique leader 3 holy trinity joy creativity month year codes 5 freedom liberation change transformation movement 6 heaven christ family romance fertility 11 illumination portal gate polarity Two twins, cooperation, partner, duality. Twenty, the awakening, clear vision. Twenty-two, architect of peace, master builder. Another date with destiny for realizing our divine dreaming. Welcome to the month of May. May is the fifth month on the Gregorian calendar promising to bring great change and transformation for humanity. The five rocks on its base thus indicating movement and instability force change in order to liberate and free humanity from its shackles. May is an 11 universal month. When we add 5 to 2022, 6 which totals 11. 11 signifies illumination through awakening to the truth and being activated through new DNA codings. 
The eleven represents polarity and a door or gateway leading to a new reality in time. How profound that we commence this eleven month long gateway with an eclipse happening. In the southern hemisphere in the early hours of today, the new moon in Taurus is eclipsed by the Taurus sun. Taurus is a stable earth sign, usually very grounded. However, with Uranus conjunct this eclipse, we have an earth shattering event possible. This is phenomenal at the start of a new month of liberation. Expect change and expect accelerated forward momentum as you are catapulted along a new path. Boom. Day 9 in the Blue Eagle wave spell where we are being asked to fly high and focus on the big picture, the divine plan for humanity so that we can create it. Envisioning the highest timeline for ourselves and our planet as our visionary powers and third eye are awakened and activated. It is time for a mass awakening of humanity. Today we are using our intention to pulse out the biggest dream vision that the eagle has been showing us in order to manifest it. How perfecto on this beautiful Taurian eclipse activating more prosperity, beauty and sweetness in our lives. Tone of creation, solar, tone nine in the spiritual realm. Action, realizing, power, pulse, essence, intention. The ninth day of the Blue Eagle wave spell is the one that gives the last push prior to manifestation. The solar phase is where we wake up to the fact that our will affects the reality we experience. So we begin pulsing, extending our intent into realization, visualizing what we want to manifest and holding the grand vision in our consciousness, which assists us in making our great dreams come true. You are the humanitarian whose dreams unfold the larger pattern of our new world. What dream are you dreaming into reality? Absolutely beautiful, expansive creation codes today. What a brilliant blessing from our creator. Dream big, precious star blessings. Infinite abundance is pulsing your way. Today's question is what is my greatest vision to pulse forth in order to realize my grandest dreams? Abundant blessing rainbow dreamers. In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 243, Blue Solar Night. The mantra, the code for today is, I pulse in order to dream. Realizing intuition, I seal the input of abundance with the solar tone of intention. I am guided by the power of self-generation. And on this powerful day of activations, manifestations, and transformations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to support us and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can either make a monthly pledge to Patreon or a one-time donation to our PayPal, both links at eaglelovecondor.com, and to our tribe on Patreon being the first of the month. If you'd like to still continue to support us, please check for us if the transaction went through, for there is sometimes a glitch in their system. And thank you all that continue to support us in our work. I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. And she has a Mother's Day sale, 25% off till May 8th, seven more days, so be sure to take advantage of that. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with powerful invocation and code from Divine Sister of the Light Patricia Cota Robles. May 1st is celebrated throughout the world as St. Germain's Ascension Day. St. Germain is known through all creation as the Keeper of the Violet Flame. Violet Flame Invocation I am my I Am Presence, and I am one with the I Am Presence of all humanity. As one voice, one breath, one heartbeat, and one energy, vibration and consciousness of pure divine love, 
I invoke the most intensified frequencies of the violet flame that cosmic law will allow. Beloved Saint Germain and your legions of violet flame archangels, I ask that you blaze this violet flame with the power and might of a thousand suns, in, through, and around every thought, feeling, word, action, memory, and belief that humanity has ever expressed in any time frame or dimension, both known and unknown, that is reflecting anything less than our Father, Mother, God's love and the oneness of all life. Transmute this energy, cause, core, effect, record, and memory back into its original perfection and seal it in an invisible force field of God's comprehensive divine love. I accept and know that this activity of light is being God victoriously accomplished, even as I call. And so it is, beloved I am, beloved I am, beloved I am that I am. From eraofpeace.org Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed Ascension Day, May Day, and beloved Beltane. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and all days the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.